There has been outrage this week as P&O Ferries fired 800 people without any warning. They were shown a video that explained that they were going to be made redundant and all services have been postponed for P&O Ferries. P&O Cruises have received quite a bit of backlash for this, but are those two companies actually linked? The Peninsula and Oriental Line, which is what P&O stands for, actually goes back to the 1840s. They started offering ferry services in the 1960s, and in the 1970s they decided to expand their cruise side. They bought Princess Cruises and Sipmar Cruises, which later became P&O Australia. In 2000, they decided to split out the cruise portion, and they renamed that P&O Princess. They sold P&O Princess in 2003 to the Carnival Corporation for £3.5 million. The ferry portion was sold to a company called DP World, which is a company that operates now from Dubai. To find out more about the history of P&O and the differences between cruise ships and ferries, check out my full article on emmacruises.com.